How's it going guys? It's Than from Tidal Gardens, and 2014 is coming to a rapid close, and I thought it'd be great to do a 2014 year in review. 2014 was a big year for Tidal Gardens, and we're lucky to be able to say that pretty much every year has been the best year ever. So let's take a look at some of the highlights of 2014. So let's start with some of the upgrades that we made to the greenhouse. The first big upgrade that we did helps out a lot in both the summer and the winter. We installed Illuminate shade cloths pretty much on the entire uh, roof of the greenhouse, or ceiling I should say. In the summer, it's great because it reflects a lot of light away from the greenhouse and also provides about 75% shade. And that was really helping out because a lot of our corals tend to struggle in the summer. In the winter it's great also because it actually helps warm the greenhouse because everything in the greenhouse um, radiates infrared light. And at night, the illuminate essentially acts like a mirror and shines that radiation back down towards everything in the greenhouse to have this secondary warming effect. And so far, it's been a pretty mild winter. However, we can tell that we're getting higher temperatures overall in just about every single system. So the Illuminate Shade Cloth is the first really big change that we've made. The next big change that we made at the greenhouse was we did away with the automatic um, ceiling vents and we installed some whirly bird vents. And that helped out greatly in the summertime. Um, the the, the self-opening and closing vents are really, really neat in concept, but in practice, uh, they tended to get gummed up and kind of stop working after about a year. So the whirly birds uh, not only moved a ton more air, but uh, they were much less maintenance as well. And now that it's winter time, we just stuff them full of insulation and they're pretty much sealed until, until spring. 2014 was the first year that we attended MACNA, and we've been to different trade shows and frag swaps pretty much around like this area. However, we did end up going to, to MACNA in Denver this year, and it was a pretty good experience overall. We saw a lot of friends there um, that we had never met before, but we knew of each other online. Um, it was good to see the, the, the showroom floor and just to kind of get a, an idea of what people do at Magna to try to you know entice the new customers and to, to do business with one another so it's definitely a good show to attend every year we like to try to do some travel and so in addition to Magna that we attended um, we also went on a little vacation here to Japan and Singapore and so you probably saw um, some of the footage that I had taken from our Singapore trip and I had an absolutely amazing time. It's one of the most dazzling cities that I've ever seen. It's got a wonderful aquarium and it was definitely the highlight of, of my summer. Maybe it wasn't so much of a Tidal Gardens thing, but it was a, a monumental little trip for me. So keeping in line with uh, the Asia theme, two of my friends um, that had gone to college around here are now doing their research in um, a very prestigious lab in Okinawa, Japan. And they're kind enough to do some blogging for me. So I guess the next big story is we are doing blogs now. So in addition to the two girls doing zoanthid research, I'm also doing some blogging as well. So you can definitely read a little bit more about corals if you're into that sort of thing, which I, I imagine you are. In addition to the blogging that we do, I should point out that we do not just blogging for Tidal Gardens, but I also write for Saltwater Smarts, which is an online blog, and Coral Magazine recently reached out to me, and so I'm doing some blogging on their site, reeftorainforest.com, and I also do some, some writing for Coral Magazine itself. Uh, so far this year I've written two articles, so if you're a subscriber of Coral Magazine, you can check out some of my work there. When I started this hobby, I wasn't very much of a photographer, but so much of this hobby revolves around aesthetics and showing off um, of the different corals and whatnot. So I've definitely become much more into the whole photography, videography world. 
and in 2014 we got some really really cool toys um, first of which is the camera that I'm talking into it's a, a Canon C100 cinema camera which is just a joy to work with I absolutely love this machine but the real big I guess um, unsung hero of, of this whole little production is a little black box that we got from Teradek, which is the Teradek Cube, and that allows us to wirelessly broadcast what the camera sees live. So we've incorporated live shows and live sales towards the end of 2014, and I expect that to be a, um, a fixture as far as like our presentation from this point forward. We, we expect to do a lot more with, with live shows and live sales. Twenty fourteen was also the year that this YouTube channel has grown to over fifteen thousand subscribers, which, to be perfectly honest, is a much bigger number than I ever really expected it to grow to. Um, I'm always these days surprised at just how big the channel's gotten. I remember when, just first starting out, I had literally no expectation of getting a following. I just wanted to have some videos to put onto my website to talk about corals. So. 2014 is always going to be memorable because we hit this 15,000 subscriber milestone. Thank you very much for that support. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for 2014. So, tell me, what have you planned for next year? Are you guys going to do a new tank upgrade or new equipment? What have you guys got going on? Let me know in the comments below. See you in 2015.